do you watch Animal Galaxy? No, I don't have cable. You are so deprived. Well, they have this show called Versus, where they pit two predatory animals against one another in lethal combat. You know, for educational purposes. And I can't wait for the show next week. Next, next week, week, week on Animal Galaxy. Galaxy. On the next episode of Versus. Natural enemies in a vicious fight for survival of their respective species. Both are massive deadly land beasts. Both are instinctively and violently territorial. Both shall enter into combat, but only one shall leave victorious. We brought you Cobra vs. Mongoose, Shark vs. Giant Squid, and Siberian Tiger vs. Clone Velociraptor. Now, Animal Galaxy presents... Bremelo vs. Protopotamus! Two shall enter, one shall leave. Shall enter, one shall leave. Nothing like a little Bremolo on Gratopotamus action. Gross. Do do do. What to talk about now? Hmm. What subject should I bring up to pass the time? And movies. Wins again. What was the last movie you saw before we left for patrol? <sighs> I'd rather not say. All right, this situation seems familiar, doesn't it? I ask you a mundane question, then you shut me down only for me to ask you again, and then yet again you decline my line of questioning, followed by me repeating my question and reminding you that I will keep asking until you threaten me, and then I pretend to stop asking. Twilight. All right. Twilight? Yeah. Doesn't really seem like your type of movie. I went home on leave before we started refitting and watched it with my little sister at my parents' house. Your sister is what? 14? 15? She's 20. Dude, you got a 20-year-old sister? I'm single now, you know. I'll punch you in the face so hard that your nipples explode. That is an interesting visual. Well, Twilight was alright. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Really? You liked it? No, Twilight was the worst vampire movie ever made. They shouldn't even be called vampires. They should be called extremely iron-deficient emo superheroes that hiss like vampires when they're agitated. Eh, maybe you just need to read the books. What? No! It was completely insulting. So insulting that I actually took it personally. They made this movie with the sole purpose of pissing me off. I mean, they're not even identifiable as vampires. They replaced the fangs and the shape-shifting and the lack of reflections with what? Glitter skin. And the dude's all, oh, this is the skin of a killer. Because nothing says killer like freaking glitter. Well, see, you just need a little perspective on how to appreciate this movie. They played vampire baseball. Yeah, but... They had uniforms. All right, here's a little word relationship test for you. Female is to twilight, as male is to... Uh, being retarded? Pornography. What? Pornography. What? Pornography. I don't said. What do you mean? Twilight is like the female version of porn. It's fantasy. Check it out. Male fantasy. You order a pizza and it gets delivered by a smoking hot nympho who finds you irresistible and proceeds to get naked and do you, and then she disappears forever. Female fantasy. She meets a completely dysfunctional, abusive, self-centered, dishonest, and smoking hot guy who treats her like crap, and she changes him. I think that's why girls seem to like guys that treat them badly. They want to tame the beast, as long as the beast is super cute. And so the Twilight guy is like super douche. Exactly. A vampire is like the ultimate douchebag. I mean, treating your girlfriend poorly, lying to her, cheating on her is pretty, pretty douchey. But the vampire wants to eat the girl, and not in a good way. He wants to consume her flesh for nutritional and quasi-sensual purposes. But because of the love he feels unconditionally for her, she is solely responsible for him being inspired to finally become a better person and establish loving her as his only purpose in life. See, it's just like porn. Completely unrealistic, but it would be pretty awesome if it actually happened. And it's nice to watch. And it makes a lot of money. I would think that more chicks would be pissed about this movie. The girl is portrayed in the totally stereotypically sexist way. Completely dependent on a man, clingy, annoying, submissive, accident-prone, and she has, like, no personality whatsoever. Uh, that's all part of the master plan. She's meant to have no personality because she's a vehicle for all the females in the audience to project their personalities into. It's genius, really. But the guy's, like, stalking her. Not true, because when a super cute guy stalks a girl, it's not stalking. It's courting. Whatever, dude. I still understand why girls think this crap is so great. Just the same way most women don't understand why guys think porn is so great. Case in point, Twilight is porn. Porn you can watch with your little sister at your parents' house. Whatever. Holy crap, Keen, what the hell is that? What? I can't believe...
believe you just fell for that, you freaking nub. Whatever. Oop, sorry, I'm not supposed to use that word anymore. I hope the nickname police didn't hear me. Yeah, what is with that? They're nubs. We call them nubs because that's what they are. They're freaking nubs. I know, we call them a lot worse things now that we can't call them nubs. Oh, man, I called this one nub a nub, and he's all, if not nub, it's noob. I almost tased that little punk. Why didn't you? I don't want to deal with all the taser requisition forms. Ah. I mean, non-usable body. What's so god-awful oppressive about that? Maybe because technically it's not accurate. We can still use them to clean stuff or crank or take out the trash. They are usable, just not as usable as someone who is qualified. So should we call them lubs? Less usable bodies? I've got a cousin who's a firefighter, and they call their new guys probies, which sounds way worse than nub. You don't hear them whining about it. You can call them F and Gs, but everybody uses that. I've heard someone use the term skip, spaceship knowledge impaired personnel. Yeah, I've heard that one too. It's just, it's not the same as nub. Whatever, man, I don't want to have any issues with the non-qual rights initiative. What about currently unqualified naval trainee? <laughs> yes, I think that'll do nicely.